I don't want to get too carried away with eyelashes and things like that. These will come in afterwards. But I just want to show you, it's all going to start changing the shapes of a lot of these things when you start uh, giving it continuity with everything else. And, uh, and so you need to make sure you're patient and not try to keep altering things until you have an opportunity to put in some of the details uh, so that it starts changing how you perceive you know some of those things and then later on you know this is going to be darker over here and we're going to find the apex apex is right about in here and we're going to make sure that we don't have the bottom lid too dark uh, the edge the top edge of the bottom lid and so we're going to come later and we're going to put eyelashes out here on this outer edge and this is going to start giving us a real good idea that we are working with a real eye instead of just a shape so this is going to change the shape of the whole thing as well. And, uh, and so then we have a, a, a highlight here, partly because our light's coming from this direction and we want to have the bridge of the nose be, this is deep enough that the bridge of the nose is actually shading all this in here, but we want it to get lighter and lighter and lighter until it gets to that brightest place. And then it's a little darker over here. So, this is what this dark, uh, this dark uh, print is going to do for you as well. And actually, oh, here it is. It's going to help you start seeing where the apex is. So here's the, uh, the highlight for the eye that we could or may not put there. And here's that lightest part right above that reflection in the eyeball. And here's that uh, part that is the apex of that upper lid. You can see the uh, highlight here and that uh, it's going to be from about here over. I'm just plotting these things out. I wouldn't put them on there right now, but these are things that are going to help us shape and understand the curve and contour. And, and the same thing with these. These are going to be, even though I'm making them dark, these are highlights on the lip. It isn't going to be over here. We're going to want to gradually have and look very closely. This, this uh, lip is coming up and going underneath this one, and this lip extends over farther than this is coming up in meeting. And so we're going to have a chance to contour that lip ever so slightly as well. And, uh, and then when we find out these curves, we are going to have a clean edge, uh, you know, at the edge of her nose. And we're going to want to go out softly away. Just like when I told you about this uh, contour. <clears throat> Uh, we have a difference between these two. We have the clean edge, and you can see the shadow disappearing underneath, and then we also have the contour. Well, let's just pretend this is the nose, and, and this right here is one of those edges. We can't see the whole complete contour. We can't see in and out. We have to be able to have a clean edge so that we can fully take advantage of the contour we have in making up the nose. It looks like maybe this goes a little bit more like so, too. I don't... And so here we have a clean edge. Yeah, here's the clean edge here. And then we'll have uh, maybe a little bit more of the inside of the nostril here. And then it will gradually fade out, showing a contour. Anyway, just things. This is a contour. So we don't want a clean edge coming all the way up. We want to gradually have that, that clean edge that has a subtle shadow here. We want it to come out into a contour. So that's soft in and soft out. You want to be very careful that you don't have clean edges representing contours. So this, this just gives us an idea where the uh, value would go soft in and soft out. And we don't want to have the, uh, the line forming it. Otherwise, we're going to misread that contour. And this is where I keep telling everybody, you all the, about the patch exercise and the sphere exercise when it's a contour you want to have it soft in and soft out